गुड मॉर्निंग तहमीना खान इज हेयर इन टी के मैथ्स इज फन इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल सी अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन इट्स अ पास पेपर क्वेश्चन इन विच द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ग्रेडियंट हेल्प्स यू टू सॉल्व और टू फाइंड आउट द वैक्टर एंड यू डोंट नीड टू वर्क एट ऑल बट हेयर आई हैव टेकन द हेल्प ऑफ द डाइग्राम जस्ट टू हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड और टू हेल्प यू विजुअलाइज द सिचुएशन हेयर अदरवाइज इन एग्जाम इट इज़ नॉट द रिक्वायरमेंट राइट सो द क्वेश्चन इज the point a and c are the diagonal of a square a b c d right i have drawn here roughly the coordinates of the center of the diagonal ac are e 8 comma 1 okay by the way the word written here the coordinates of the center e because there are other parts of the question which i have not uh, mentioned here so e was the center of the diagonal ac right that's why i have calculated it here 8 comma 1 now what is you have what you have to find out is you have to find the vector eb and vector ed right and what is given that x coordinate of b is less than the x coordinate of d this helps us to understand that b is on this side and d is on this side otherwise it could be a b c d if question was other way round like x coordinate of d is less than x coordinate of b so let's see how come this gradient concept will help us to find out the vector here so let me draw this line diagonal ac separately here for example this is your line ac right now if you see the coordinates of a are 5 comma minus 4 and coordinates of c are 11 comma 6 so if you find out the gradient you find out the y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 okay so if i go from here to here so this is 5 and this is 11 so x distance is 6 right and y distance is 10 you understand how i'm doing it here because this is the y coordinate minus 4 and this is the y coordinate 6 so all together this this distance is 10 okay so now if i ask you what is your vector ac you will say it is 6 10 right because when we write column vector we write x movement first and then y movement along x axis or along y axis so you will say ac is 6 10 now see here e is your midpoint and the coordinates are 8 comma 1 if you go from here to here because it is in the center this will be 3 unit and this will be 5 unit so you can say that ec vector is equals to 3 5 right without doing any working if i ask you what is ea you know now i'm changing the direction so you will say ea is equals to same here 3 unit on the left and 5 unit down so it will be minus 3 minus 5 now if i ask you what is the gradient of ac let me change the color what is the gradient of ac so gradient of line ac which is this right ac and gradient formula is what y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so you consider the y coordinate first the difference of y2 minus y1 which is 10 and then this one is 6 right because x coordinate is 4 and here x coordinate is 11 so you get 10 oh sorry i should not write it in the column vector form so sorry so let me write it in the gradient form so it is 10 upon 6 or if you simplify it will say 5 upon 3 agreed now keep noticing here the column vector and the column vector from the center to the point right it is a simplified form now the question was asking us what was the gradient of eb and ed now remember ab cd is your square so your bd is basically a perpendicular perpendicular diagonal agreed so if the gradient of ac 
is 10 upon 6 let me write here if the gradient of if the gradient of ac is 10 upon 6 i'm not writing a simplified form right now well let me write here as well that also or 5 upon 3 then the gradient of bd will be what what is the perpendicular gradient you remember it is flipped and it is so it is minus 6 upon 10 or minus 3 upon 5 right minus 6 upon 10 or minus 3 upon 5 so now if i ask you what is the vector bd right this whole vector from this point to this point what is the vector bd what will you say seeing this can you say something in vector we write down, write down the x coordinate first so you can say it is 10 minus 6 now the question comes here in the mind why i am putting minus sign with 6 and why not with 10 so if you look at this diagram which i am i have drawn here to help you visualizing the situation you are going 10 unit here and then 6 unit down so when you move on the right hand side it is positive when you move down it is negative so that's why i have taken 10 minus 6 now after that because question is from e to d and e to b okay so now it is very simple if i have to write down vector ed right it means i'm going from here so it is halfway of this so it will be 5 minus 3 right 5 minus 3 because bd was like this just writing it again in case if you're getting confused so because bd was 10 minus 6 then your ed will be 5 and minus 3 okay because this one was 10 till here and this one was minus 6 so similarly your eb which is here will be what you will go here it will be minus 5 because now you are moving to the left and then it is 3 because you will move 3 unit up so you understood with the help of this gradient how did i make a vector or found out the vector here without doing any working so thank you very much for watching this video please press like and subscribe button and share it with your friends thank you take care